Good morning everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the human karyotype. The ca human karyotype is like a map. It represents all the chromosomes. The chromosomes are given in the karyotype with which we can have a look at the, the chromosomes. A normal human karyotype contains 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes which govern the bodily characters and one pair of sex chromosome which determines the sex of the individual. Generally, these are arranged in order from the largest to the smallest. The chromosomes have two arms. The short arm of the chromosome is referred to as the P arm while the long arm is designated as the Q arm. Now, how do we get this karyotype? To observe this karyotype, cells are collected from a blood or tissue sample and they are stimulated to begin dividing because chromatin reticulum is found in the active cells and chromosomes can be observed only in actively dividing cells. So, once they are stimulated to begin dividing, the chromosomes are arrested in metaphase, then preserved in a fixative and applied to a slide where they are stained with a dye to visualize the distinct banding patterns of each chromosome pair. Now, what, what is the use of a karyotype? A karyotype can be visualized for observing abnormalities in the chromosomes such as an incorrect number of chromosomes, deletions, insertions or translocations of DNA. All these can be observed by looking at the karyotype. Now, let us have a look at the karyotype. Here, we have the 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome. Here, we can easily see that both the sex chromosomes are similar. So, it is a female. If one is big and another is small, it indicates that it is a male. The Y chromosome is generally smaller. Others, homologous chromosomes are similar in size and shape. Now, by looking at this, car this karyotype, how do we identify the defect? As we all know, each chromosome is present in pairs. But here you can see that the 21st chromosome is 3 in number. That is, there is one extra chromosome here. So, this particular, this particular karyotype belongs to a person having Down syndrome. So, this type of uh, studies can be done using the karyotype. Other than the chromosome number, deletions, translocations, etc. can also be identified by using a karyotype. Thank you.